Hi, it's Jeff from Coaster Buzz with a tour of our roller coaster and amusement park databases. First off, you're looking at the club member view of the site, which doesn't include the advertisements. Uh, so there's a little more, more white space on, on the screen than you might be normally accustomed to. The club's just $20 a year. All you have to do is click the club links up at the uh, navigation there to join. Uh, you can join by credit card instantly on our secure page or send in a mail in form. Either way, we certainly appreciate that support. Let's start with the search bar at the top of the screen here. Uh, we can search for roller coasters or amusement parks. All we have to do on, a, on any page uh, in Coaster Buzz is start to type the uh, name that we're looking for. So, example, for Millennium Force, as soon as we type three letters, we'll have some partial matches. And as we continue to type, it will narrow down the resor results even further. Uh, as soon as you backspace or, or, or dump out of there, uh, you'll have uh, below three characters. This will go away. You can also close this box uh, at any time. So we'll close that right now, and we're going to uh, delete that. And this time we're going to look for amusement parks, so we'll check the uh, amusement parks box, and we'll type the word six for six flags. And, of course, there are a mess of results here. And on any of these, uh, we can just click uh, the link and go to that specific one. Let's, for example, sake, let's go to Six Flags Great America. The Great America page will load, and you'll see at the top of the uh, list you've got the address there. Uh, down the right side you have the news uh, and also a list of roller coasters from the park. Down here at the bottom uh, we have buzzers at the park, which shows me as being there, and that's part of the meeting calendar function. We'll just bounce over here really quick. Uh, you can uh, click any of these links that are shaded that show that people are going to be at a particular park there, and on this day you can see a number of our members were at various parks, and uh, I was at Six Flags Great America. Not really, but for the sake of example, <laughs> let's say that I was. You can also do uh, uh, a map of the particular park, and some maps uh, have more detail than others. In this case, uh, we'll look at Six Flags Great America, and you'll also notice this little pop-up here that says, see this location in bird's eye view, and we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, you can see it got pretty close to where the park is. There's the parking lot. If we uh, zoom down a little bit or scroll down a little bit, you can drag it, or you can use the controls here, and then you can use the, the uh, hourglass, or rather the uh, magnifying glass, uh, icons here to zoom in or out, or use your scroll wheel on your mouse, and you can see uh, stuff right in the park really up close. If bird's eye is available for a particular park, if you click on that, it changes to a view that's more of a helicopter view, and it's kind of neat. You can see the details in one of the rides and, and the overall layout of the park, and uh, again, you can get pretty close to that as well by zooming in, and there you can see Batman the Ride with its fresh yellow paint job. Uh, which uh, happened a couple of years ago, so it's a nice looking ride there. Uh, if you click hide map, it'll reduce that and it will be gone. Uh, in the event that you have a missing roller coaster here, all you have to do is click on the uh, contribute uh, link here um, for contribute a coaster to this park's database. If you're looking for a park that's not in here, uh, all the contribute links are always on the right side uh, of the page there. So, for example, if you wanted to add a park that was not in our database, you can, you can do that. Um, if we go back to the Great America page here and look at uh, some, some some more details here, the contribute link for a roller coaster, when we go to that one, will actually pre-fill if you come from that park page. It'll pre-fill the location. So we've already got the Six Flags Great America uh, listed on there. Uh, in the event that you click on the uh, contribute coasters link on the right side, uh, that one won't have it, so you'll have to select it. But please fill in as much uh, information as you can uh, in the event that you have to add a ride. When you get down here to notes, you can put any specific, uh, you know, special history about the ride. Scroll down a little further, and you can see that we have different types and manufacturers here. So, for example, like say we were going to add a floorless here, we could add floorless. We could click floorless, and we could click uh, looper, and we could click um, steel. At the very least, you're probably going to add at least steel or wood as one of the things. Uh, and if there's some type that's not listed in here, again, you can put that up here in the notes. And then when our database people look at it, they can add that as well. Uh, and of course, we're talking about a floorless looper and steel. We're probably talking about B&M, so that will be our manufacturer. And if there's more than one, again, you can join. Uh, you can add as many as you want and put in, in the notes if uh, there's one missing. In the event that you add a ride, it will be in the database live immediately, but it'll have a little note that says that it hasn't yet been approved. But you can add that to your track record, which is an, a, a really important important uh, improvement over the last version of Coaster Buzz. So uh, keep that in mind as you're uh, looking for uh, new rides and new rides are built. Um, you can contribute those at any time and you don't have to wait for them to be approved to appear in the database.
Let's go back now to the uh, Six Flags Great America page and we'll actually look at the detail for one of the roller coasters. In this case we'll look at uh, Batman the Ride since we were looking at that earlier. There you can see the uh, stats on the ride and, and the different things that, uh, uh, different ways that we describe it, it being inverted steel and looper. Uh, also notice the track record feature here, again that's for uh, Coaster Buzz Club members. Uh, the green light indicates that I've been on the ride. Here we have the history of the ride which includes uh, its uh, name and when, it's o when it opened. And then uh, at the bottom here we've got photos. If you click on any thumbnail naturally you'll go to the actual picture and you've got uh, um, a, a credit there and then you've also got next and previous. Uh, and the picture itself is actually a big link target so if you click on that that'll send you to the next one and you can just cycle through the pictures pretty quickly that way. This link will take you back to the page with the photos on it. Let's talk a little bit about the history too. If we go back to the Great America page, we'll actually take a uh, little look at the, um, uh, let's say the demon. Uh, and I re bring up the demon just from the standpoint that I know that particular ride was also known as the turn of the century at one point. So you can see there that uh, turn of the century is listed with its dates 1976 to 1979. Uh, if I click on that link for that ride, notice it still says it's in my track record because it's physically the same ride. So those are the... Uh, um, those are the kind of the rules that we talk a little bit about in the track record video as well. So overall, those are the roller coaster and park databases.